Ho 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 internet and welcome to another tech video. Today I'm going to show you simple setup which will allow you to stay more productive in the year 2022 and we're talking about computer home office setup and this is concludes of four different elements which you would need to have this done. First of all of course you would need your MacBook Pro laptop or any other laptop if you're using Windows. Uh, you can use Windows as well and you will need small dock station which I'm using here as well um, that allow you to connect your displays and power to your system and also preferably that dock station should have a couple more USB ports so you can connect some peripherals Ethernet if you have to connect to the cable and you don't really have very fast Wi-Fi at home so you can connect using cable connections as well this is one gigabit network which you can connect to your laptop you also would need a keyboard in that case we will use Apple based keyboard but you can use any keyboard as well if it's wireless it's fine as well but since we have dock stations with USB with USB connections I can use even this that will allow you to connect by cable as well and of course for complement our setup we would need a mouse you can use this uh, this is Apple based mouse some people like it some not so much but I'm still using that and uh, you can also use any other mouse like Logitech or any other Razer mouse which will connect few USB dongle which you can use this little piece here which will go into your dock station and allow you to connect the mouse. So the idea of the setup is pretty straightforward. So basically what I noticed is even on the smallest laptop like this with this 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, for the big projects and for the big Excel tables it's very hard to see things on such a small screen. This will be okay if you take it to the classroom but if you're gonna work at home or you're gonna work at your place then it's much easier to work with this laptop if it is connected to the bigger screen. And for the bigger screen we're gonna use uh, monitors which I like very much and these are monitors from LG. We're talking about 27 inch which I consider to be way enough uh, you can of course go to 32 but that's kind of overkill already and this is 4k monitors free 3800 by 2100 roughly resolution this is full 400 hdr and it's um, uh, srgb coverage for 99 percent five milliseconds with active sync all the bell and whistles which you will get usually from LG monitors and they're also IPS. This is not OLED, this is IPS uh, screen which will allow you to work something similar to what I have here behind me. These are previous generation monitors but I will been, I've been using those for quite some time. Uh, it's proven also to know that if you have second monitor your productivity will roughly increase by 30, 35, 40 percent just because you're using secondary screen and you can easily move stuff around between them you have more windows open adding an extra monitor and not gonna go as exponential as you would expect because if you have like two extra monitors already then it will give you an at another boost like another 10 percent maybe another 15 max but it's not like twice as much right so <clears throat> the idea here is to show you how to set it up this thing is pretty straightforward this is connections on the back you will have uh, hdmi which will allow you to connect the monitor. Uh, if you need, really need to go and use uh, 4K, you can potentially use different adapter than this one. But for our case, we will be using this. I also have another video that works, which will allow you to connect, and I will show you how to connect this uh, Biolink uh, docking station. This is more advanced. It supports fully 5K monitors on the back. You can connect two of those. So stay tuned for that video. We're gonna connect 16 inch new MacBook Pro to two displays like these ones using just Wildlink. I'm currently using um, Hal Digit and I have a video on the screen over here if you're interested to see how it is connected. We were also looking before on how to connect Wildlink because of the previous issues which I was having with Hal Digit. My unit personally was really uh, kind of defective, so Hal Digit replace that with a brand new one and I didn't have any issues ever since. I recommend you check it out and if you're interested to see how to get set up this Valve link on the previous generation MacBook Pros I have another video also over here which you can use and watch it out and see and decide for yourself. For me currently I'm using CalDigit First of all, on many reasons, but one of the reasons which I really like Digit more, it doesn't require any driver installation. Wildlink will request you to install a specific driver, which is called DisplayPort, and that thing is basically allowing you to share 
your screens through the wild link interface and that's there are some downsides there is an upside for that as well but stay tuned i'm going to show you how it's done on the next video for now let's talk about our setup so for our setup we will be using this monitor from lg we're going to use our macbook pro we're going to use dock station from dodo win uh, all the links to the descriptions on the items which I feature in this video I'm gonna be in the description down below so if you're really interested to see and order those for yourself and you like my setup be my guest all the links in the description check them out or maybe just look at those and see if you have something more advanced and select those instead alright so but now we're gonna use this thing this is our mouse connection I just put it in uh, there are two USB-C connection ports and they're also allowing you to charge your MacBook Pro using the port here. So once you connect your dock station, the MacBook Pro will be automatically charged and you will have full your setup connected right away, including monitor, keyboard, mouse, everything. So, and network of course, if you choose to do so. Once you decided to go on the move or you decided to go to the class, to the lecture, you just disconnect this simple thing and you get your laptop back. You can put it in a fully charged in your bag and go on your way to the classroom. If it's time to open the presents right now, we're going to have our setup built as this things. This is our main laptop right now here. This is going to be my keyboard, which is Maple based keyboard, but like I said, you can use anything. This is my mouse which is going to be here and also for the grand finale we're going to use this guy here. This is 27 inch IPS monitor from LG. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, you should have all the cables. It got USB-C connections as well. Support in 4K, 27 inch. Perfect. I specifically like LG monitors because they're not so hard to set up and um, it's not like most of the people I know they like Samsung monitors but this Samsung there are some other things as well but from LG perspective if you look about price versus quality comparison I would say LG is much better but uh, you I might be wrong Samsung is doing lots of screens especially for the cell phones or for every single cell phone probably which you know Samsung and LG making the, all the screens but I still trust more LG especially for the monitors but hey, if you like Samsung, you can use Samsung. Setup is not going to be much different. The beauty of this thing as well, this is fully retractable stand as well, which we're going to get in this monitor. You can raise it up and down. You can tilt it if you want. Uh, so it will match exactly what you need to be set up. Right, so there are some documentation. There is some warranty. There are disc uh, with a driver. If you're still using that, I think these are rudimentary already. Not really needing this because like Windows will detect your screen, Apple will detect your screen, so why would you send another thing like that? I don't know. But that's up to LG. There's also a power brick. Oh, this one is more powerful than before. Slight and slick, you can put it under your desk and you will never see it again. But basically the thing is because the monitor is so thin, the power supply is separate, right? So this is one of the things specific to LG. Uh, I have all my power supplies mounted under the desk over here. So if you're interested to see this video, you look over here. Uh, there is a there is a video talking about this setup, how I get my raisins raisins table. Um, this thing will move up and down to the any position I want, and I have all my power supplies mounted under the desk, so they're not seen at all. Again, if you're interested to see that video, check it out. I'm gonna put link in the descriptions as well to all my videos. So. Be my guest and look at that. If you like it, copy it. I don't mind. So, this thing just goes here. Alright, and here comes the monitor. This is, whoa, this is white. Look at that. This is big panel. Alright, so I'm gonna remove this thing. And I like the quality of the LG hardware. This is fully, let's look at that. This is amazing. This is a good panel. Right, so it's also got all the connections on the back, so you have two USB Type 3, one USB C, one display port, and two HDMI's on the back. Amazing. So for lots of connectivity for you to connect your things. But the monitor itself is this is this is gonna be enough on its own. If you put two of these together, wow, it's gonna be even it's even gonna be even more amazing. One thing about LG. LG will give you all the cables. Hi Apple. <laughs> so you have here HDMI. If you really choose to connect using ports like the um, the port cable for the uh, display port, you might need to separately purchase that. But you also have your USB-C if you need to connect using USB-C. 
Display ports, uh, well, I will connect with 4 and uh, resolution, 4K resolution as well. HDMI depends on the version, so this cable is high speed HDMI cable with Ethernet. If you really need to connect using display port, you will have to get a separate cable for that. But if you choose to just open up and connect, you have all the things you need. All the cables are included. All right, so here is the setup, as I'm sure you can see that. But this is the display, which you could say just set up. This is my new uh, small MacBook Pro, which is 13 inch right there. And I extended the screen to be using this one as well. Uh, my docking station is connected. My keyboard is connected, my mouse is connected, so everything is ready. And you see, this is the screen which was original screen on that laptop over here, full screen here, meaning on the that much on this particular screen over here. You can also use more bigger like that. If you work with Excel, it will allow you to have more real estate. If you really use different other applications, this screen will allow you to extend that to use more real estate and you have more space and you can also increase the font and make it even more visible for you, less stress for your eyes, like you really need to work with that. But if you work in the classroom, you can use still this thing here, and that's gonna be your mobile solution, that would be your permanent home solution, or your office solution, wherever you're staying, in your dorm or somewhere. But this is the good thing is, right? This will allow you to more concentrate on the work and allowing you to less stress your eyes and be more productive, because you now you have two screens, you can have some of the tasks executed on the main screen over here on the smallest one and also the bigger thing the main real estate is going to be on the big screen as well so that's what it is as you can see it's all working the monitor can be moved up and down it's tiltable like on any angle and you can set up the way you like it plus there are also USB type uh, USB free connections on the back and also there is audio you can play on this there is a, uh, there is a speakers on this monitor as well also the audio and settings all the things are going from settings there is a nice screen over here you can go down and increase the volume yay all works So the volume control is over here on the bar, you just can't go up here, then go down, by default it's gonna switch to the volumes. And also if you need to really calibrate this monitor for your liking, it should be calibrated already, but if you really need to do so, then you can go ahead and set it up using the settings. For that you can press the button, go to the settings and do whatever you wanna do. But if you don't do anything by default, it's gonna go in and the control on the bottom just gonna increase the volume, right? It's gonna sh show down the volume up and down. Or if you, you wanna mute it, you can press towards you uh, joystick and it will mute the actual uh, volume down there. All right, perfect. For that, I just selected the HDR LG 4K display port, and now it is using this particular monitor to, yeah, to emit the sound, not the MacBook Pro. All right, guys, so that's it for today's quick video. This is my setup for the students. As you can see, it's very simple, very simplistic. All the links for the items in this video will be in the description down below. If you like this video, you know what to do. So click subscribe button, click notification button, stay healthy in the year 2022, be more productive. This setup will hopefully allow you to do so. If no, just put your questions in the comments down below. I always read my comments, I always try to answer them the best I can. If I don't know the answer, I will forward you a link to the something which will give you the answer. So stay healthy, stay tuned for the next video. We are on the internet, so we'll see each other very soon. Peace.